Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, this morning going to talk about uh, a home mortgage, how a home mortgage works. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because uh, I own a few rental properties, as does my wife. And uh, we're constantly getting people who want to do rent to own. And uh, my mom also uh, owned some rental properties. And uh, she did rent to own uh, quite, a, quite a lot with a lot of people. And uh, I want to explain here how a home mortgage works. And then uh, later on at some point in the future, I want to do a, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a little video on uh, rent to own, which is uh, one way uh, people can uh, eventually become the owner of a home uh, without doing a home mortgage. So uh, today I'm going to talk about how a home mortgage works and uh, explain it uh, to people because they're always asking me uh, about rent to own and have to go into explaining to them and so forth. Um, so here are some things that you need to understand about loans and about a home mortgage loan or a home mortgage. A mortgage is actually a loan. Uh, a mortgage is a loan in which the uh, whatever you're uh, getting uh, actually is stands as collateral for the uh, for the money. The uh, home actually stands as collateral for the money, and if you don't pay the loan, then the lender uh, or the mortgage company can come back and take take the home, get the home back from you and uh, sell it again to someone else. So it's just like any other loan. If you don't pay a car loan, they'll come and repossess the car. Well, if you don't pay your home mortgage loan, they'll come and take the home back. Uh, they'll get possession of it back and then they can resell it. So a home mortgage uh, payment actually consists of a few parts here. This is the, the principal is uh, the original amount of the loan that you borrowed. Say the home is a $100,000, or the loan is $100,000 that you're borrowing against the home. Uh, that's the principal. The interest is uh, whatever interest rate you can get from a bank or a mortgage company. Uh, currently, you can get interest rates of about 4 or 5%. Uh, back in my earlier days when my wife and I were buying homes, uh, interest rates were like uh, 8% and uh, that was considered quite good at one point in time we, we got uh, an interest rate of like 6% and we considered that to be really really great but one thing you need to understand is back during the days of Jimmy Carter uh, when inflation was running uh, amok if you will uh, interest rates were up around 16, uh, 17, 18 percent. So the interest rates vary depending on the uh, uh, economy and how the economy is going, inflation, and lots of other things. <clears throat> taxes are the taxes that the local taxes that you pay on on your real estate. Those are generally collected by the county. Uh, but they're actually paid by the mortgage company, and the reason why the mortgage company pays them is because if you don't pay your taxes on the home, then the county can take the home and sell it for the taxes. The mortgage company, of course, has an interest in the home, and they don't want it to be sold for taxes, and they definitely want the taxes to be paid, so they collect the money up front, and then when the taxes become due, they pay those. Also, the fire and casualty insurance the mortgage company is definitely interested in that being paid, uh, so they collect money up front for that and make sure that that fire and casualty insurance gets paid. Also, there's a thing called uh, PMI, regardless of 
the type of loan you get, whether it's a uh, conventional loan, a government-insured loan, such as a, a FHA or a VA loan, they all have a, a kind of a, what's called a PMI, and that is a, a, a premium mortgage insurance, which is paid. Generally, that's paid up front. Uh, also, uh, it can be paid as part of the monthly payment, but that generally comes out of this uh, this interest payment, and it's really not uh, talked about much. It really doesn't show up in the uh, calculations you get from the uh, when you do a real estate settlement or the uh, what's called the immortalization uh, table, which I will show you here in a little bit. So anyway, that's a little bit about the. Uh, what the mortgage uh, payment uh, uh, consists of on a monthly basis. So let me show you this uh, next little chart here. This will clear this up a little bit and answer some questions. Um, <clears throat> what happens when you get a mortgage insurance, and this is the amount of dollars you're going to be paying up through here, and that's going to vary depending on the the principle of the loan and also the uh, interest rate and also <clears throat> how many months or years that you have the loan finance for. The Over here is the number of months or number of years uh, that you ha have the, uh, the loan finance for and that's separated into equal monthly payments as you can see I've got marked off here. Normally uh, most mortgages, most home mortgages, are run like uh, 30 years. Uh, that's the maximum uh, mortgage that you can generally get on a on a home loan. Uh, you can also get them for five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, probably 25 years. Also, it depends upon what the uh, mortgage lender or the bank that you're dealing with offering. Some of them will offer 30-year mortgages, and they may not offer anything other than a 30-year mortgage. Some of them may have a, a variety of mortgages that they offer. But anyway, your mortgage payments consist of the principal and interest payment, plus also your taxes and insurance. Now, <clears throat> we've already talked about PMI, and PMI is actually a part of this, <clears throat> and we don't really need to talk about that anymore. The principal is the amount of money that you're paying on a monthly ba uh, basis to the mortgage company to pay off this principal. If this principal is $100,000, that's how much of that $100,000 that you are actually paying back. In the very beginning here, you can see, while the principal and interest remains constant across the life of the loan, principal and interest remains constant. In the very beginning, you're paying a very small amount on the the principal. Toward the end of the loan, you pay more and more as you go along in the loan on the principal and less and less on the interest. In the very beginning, you pay a lot of money on the interest, and as you go along in the life of the loan, you pay more on principal and less on interest. And then the last payment here is all principal. There's no interest left. You've paid it all. Now, the taxes and the insurance do not re remain stable over the life of the loan. Because of local taxes and also the insurance that the, the fire and casualty company, the insurance company charges you, they will go up over time. So you can see this line goes up. As a matter of fact, right now I know people that are paying more for taxes and insurance on their home than they actually paid for their home. But they've owned their home like 50, 60 years or so. So they're paying more in, on taxes in maybe 100 years. They're paying more on taxes and insurance than they they on a yearly basis than they paid for the home to begin with total. Um, so that shows you how inflation works, and uh, uh, what happens. Uh, now the uh, next thing I want to talk about is um, the amortization uh, table and also. Uh, interest rates that you're going to get on the loan and so forth. And I've already talked a, a little bit about the interest rate, so let me throw this one up here. This is a little thing that I pulled up off the uh, off the internet, and you can see there, this is a little, uh, it, 
shows you that. First of all, at the top there, that line kind of shows you what I was telling you about. This is the the interest that you're paying on the loan, and this is the amount of money that you're paying on the, the principal for each monthly payment. But once again, straight across the top, so you see your principal uh, and interest payment is, is fixed. It also tells you right up here. This is I figured this out on a hundred and on a hundred thousand dollar loan uh, for like eight uh, percent. You actually pay back two hundred sixty four thousand one hundred fifty five dollars. You pay in three hundred sixty monthly payments. Total monthly payment is seven hundred and thirty four, uh, and you're paying back a total of one hundred sixty four thousand uh, dollars. One hundred sixty four one fifty five. Uh, in uh, uh, interest, so you're paying back one heck of a lot of interest. You're actually paying back at eight percent. You're actually paying back about three times the amount of money that you borrowed. These are uh, different uh, loans. Here it starts out at four point three and goes on down. This is what banks and stuff are currently offering. So. Uh, now we're going to get into what's called the immortalization table. Uh, that shows you the actual, uh, what you're paying on a monthly basis. Now I'm going to start off here with your first payments, and this is going to ring home here real quick. Uh, your first payments here, what you're paying is, and this is the payment that you pay in January of 2018, your first payment there, your interest, you're paying six sixty seven. The principal, you're only paying like sixty seven dollars of the principal. So that's your first payment, <clears throat> and this is the balance of your principal over here. What you still owe the bank on that principal. Now, getting down to the end of it here, this is the last part of that uh, uh, amortization table. Your last payment here in December twenty forty seven. <clears throat> you're paying $5 interest and $729 on the principal. And you owe zero. You have completely paid the thing off. Uh, this last line here is just what you paid during that particular year, 2047, uh, in, in interest and principal. So anyway, as you can see, you pay a lot more on the principal toward the end of the loan and uh, a lot less on the interest. So it goes back to what I was telling you before uh, about the uh, amortization table and the way the principal and the interest works, and that is that interest, you pay a lot more right in the very beginning, and as, as the time goes along, you pay less and less interest and more and more principal, a little bit on the principal to begin with, and your last payment is all principal. <clears throat> so anyway, that's the way a, a mortgage works. And the great things about a mortgage is this. You, 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 you get equity in the home. Uh, if you buy a home uh, this year, uh, $100,000. Uh, next year, it's worth $200,000. Then you have at least $200,000 worth of equity in that home. <clears throat> You can also pay a mortgage off early, early payoff. You can also refinance a mortgage. And a uh, nice thing, of course, is you will eventually own the home. So anyway, I hope this explains mortgages a little bit. And I'm going to do another one of these things here sometime in the future on uh, 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 owner take back uh which is one way that people can buy a home if they can't get a loan from a bank or a mortgage company. And that happens. You know, people go through divorces and have hard times, and <clears throat> they want to be able to buy a house, but they can't get a loan. So uh, owner take-backs are great. Anyway, thanks a lot. You folks have a nice day.